What's going on, everybody? Man, what an intense game last night. Congratulations to the Los Angeles Rams. This is their first Super Bowl win since 1999 and their first ever Super Bowl win as a Los Angeles team. So this game, all their big players showed up. Matthew Stafford, after 12 seasons suffering in Detroit, he comes to L.A. And in his first season, he becomes a Super Bowl champion. His first season in Los Angeles, kind of like Tom Brady last year, his first season as a Tampa Bay Buccaneer, wins the Super Bowl in his home stadium. Matthew Stafford, his first season as a Los Angeles Ram, wins the Super Bowl in his home stadium. All their big players, man. So Stafford, he threw an interception early in this game. He shook that off to deliver a very solid performance overall. He did have a second interception, but that one was not his fault. That Rams receiver who wears number 18, Skoranek or whatever his name is, number 18, the Ram wearing number 18, he dropped the pass and like bounced off his hand and it got intercepted. He's the same exact one who dropped that touchdown in the end zone against the 49ers. Number 18, man, that guy's kind of kind of shifty. Yeah, Stafford, he really put the team on his back. And Cooper Cup, Cooper freaking Cup. What a performance from Cooper Cup. He had two touchdowns, 92 yards overall. He had 92 yards overall. And I believe on the final drive, he had like 30-something yards. That final drive, that final drive in the game where the, the Bengals, they had the lead and the Rams, they had to go down the field and score. A field goal wouldn't tie it. It was like 20 to 16. They went down the field, Matthew Stafford, and he's just throwing basically entirely to Cooper Cup that whole drive. Not every throw, but basically most of that drive, it was Cooper Cup. Cooper Cup is a stone cold killer. He fully deserved to be named Super Bowl MVP. And then Aaron Donald, Aaron freaking Donald. They, they kind of did a good job. The Bengals did a good job containing him in the first half of this game. But in this second half, this guy went off. This guy went off, and I swear it all started with that play that caused a stir up on the sideline. So it was a play where Joe, where Joe Burrow was running, and Aaron Donald he pushed him out of bounds, and then there was a fight afterwards. There was a little scuffle, and the thing about that play is it wasn't even a dirty play by Aaron Donald. He pushed Burrow, but Burrow was still in bounds. Aaron Donald pushed Joe Burrow while he was still in bounds. And the Bengals sideline, they didn't like that. And then they started to get in a little scuffle. Donald was in the middle of it. But there was nothing really wrong. There, not, Aaron Donald did nothing wrong on that play. Aaron Donald didn't do anything wrong. So I feel like ever since after that little blow up on the sideline, I think that really re-energized Aaron Donald. That really gave him like a special motivation to win this game. He already had one already, but... Man, Aaron Donald, he he makes the third down play. It was the third down where they gave the Bengals ran the ball with P. Ryan. And Donald, he holds the guy, keeps him from falling for the first down. And speaking of the Bengals, I don't know why they didn't give the ball to Joe Mixon on that play. I mean, I know they like P. Ryan, but Joe Mixon is your better running back. When you're in this situation in a Super Bowl where you have to convert this third down, why not give it to your best player? I don't know why they didn't give Joe Mixon the ball there. But then anyway, so the third down play, Aaron Donald holds P. Ryan back from falling for the first down. And then the fourth and one, this is the play that decides the game. So Aaron Donald, he goes to Burrow. He rushes at Burrow and he sacks him. He throws him. And it was a play that looked very similar. Actually, it was just like that play to finish the NFC Championship where he sacked Jimmy Garoppolo into throwing an interception. That play was just like that. He sacked Jimmy and threw him around. And this play that I'm talking about, the fourth and one, he sacked Burrow and threw him around. So you got Aaron Donald finishing off both of these games. And, wow, I'm, I'm really happy for Aaron Donald because this man, he is a Hall of Famer. He is a first ballot Hall of Famer. Okay, so the fact to see him get a Super Bowl ring to just really solidify his case, it was really, it was really good to see. And not just Aaron Donald, so there are other guys too, like Leonard Floyd, he had a sack, I believe. Von Miller, the Super Bowl MVP from a few years ago, he went he went amok on Cam Newton. He had some plays too. The Rams, they did a really good job. They did a really good job. I know they they had control of the game early. They were up like 13 to 3, but then later on, the Bengals starting in the second half, Joe Burrow threw this absolute bomb to T. Higgins. And that play is controversial because Jalen Ramsey, 
who got burned earlier by Jamar Chase. But this play, the T. Higgins, Jalen Ramsey got face masks. He got face masks. T. Higgins threw Ramsey by the face mask. They didn't call it. And Higgins ends up running for a touchdown. So that play and then the second interception where Ram number 18 mishandled the ball, it really looked like the Rams were in trouble after dominating the early stages. And then you got the Cincinnati Bengals. It's, ooh, it's tough. I, I know it's tough to be a Bengal fan right now. They have lost a third Super Bowl for the third time in franchise history. They come up short in a Super Bowl. They came so close. They led with minutes left to go and they just couldn't hold on. It was just, it was like that 1989 Super Bowl. It was just like their last Super Bowl appearance against the San Francisco 49ers. In that game, the Bengals led 16 to 13 with like minutes to go. They had just minutes to go. Boomer Esiason and, um, Tim, they had a lineman. His name was Tim something. He broke his leg early in the game, and they really wanted to rally around him and win that ring for Tim. They had uh, Chris Collingsworth. Chris Collingsworth was a Bengals receiver. They had the lead, 16 to 13, with minutes to go. But as we all know, Joe Montana, he, he was too much for him that day. He went down the field, and he, and he finished him off with a touchdown. Jerry Rice was named the MVP of that game. He had, like, over 200 yards receiving. It's really sad because the Bengals, their fans, they, they've been through a lot. They, they've they been through it, man. So Joe Burrow, like the main concern about this game for the Bengals was the offensive line. And surprisingly, surprisingly, the Bengals offensive line, they held up pretty well during the first half of this game. During the first half of this game, I thought that they protected Joe Burrow pretty decently. I didn't see a lot of pressure on Burrow in that first half. Or a lot like where they're like really getting to him like up in his face. They really did a good job in that first half. But then the second half came along, and then the Rams, the Rams pass rush, they really just started to overpower the Bengals offensive line. The Bengals, they really started to crumble in the trenches in that second half. T. Higgins had two touchdowns, but as I mentioned before, one of them he ended up holding and he he was holding Jalen Ramsey's face mask and he threw him. And Jamar Chase, Jamar Chase destroyed Jalen Ramsey. He was roasting Jalen Ramsey all game. In fact, right after the Rams took the lead, when now the game is 23-20 in the closing minute, the Rams took the lead. And then I think the first Bengals play, there was a long pass on the sideline to Jamar Chase. He gets like 17 yards. I really thought at that point that this game might go into a tie 23-23 overtime. So... Jamar Chase, he had a big game. T. Higgins, Joe Burrow, I thought he did all that he could. Like, I think the Bengals, if they had a better offensive line, they could very well win this game. They very well could have won this game. And then you have Eli Apple, Eli Rotten Apple. He got burnt twice. Every, everybody knew coming into this game that he had no business covering Cooper Cup. We all know that that was a bad matchup, but... We, Cooper Cup, he, he just did what we all expected him to do. He made applesauce out of Eli Apple. Yeah, so Bengals, it wasn't your time, but your, your future is bright. You won six games over the last two years, including a two and 14 campaign in 2019. You went four 11 and one last season, and now you were in the Super Bowl. You didn't win the Super Bowl, but you, I think you guys got a lot to look forward to. And your division, the Steelers, the Ravens, and the Browns, they're going to be dreading you guys for years to come because Joe Burrow, he's a special player. He's a special player. And by the way, props to both of these quarterbacks, Matthew Stafford and Joe Burrow, for playing through injury. You had that one play where, where Matthew Stafford, he got up gimpy. He went to the sideline. He was laying on a table, but he ended up coming back in. And then Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow looked like he was in serious pain. You can legit see the guy screaming. Like, I, I saw him. He was laying on the ground like, like he he was really in pain. He was really in pain, but both of these guys toughed it out and went back into the game. And you love to see that kind of just resilience, that kind of grit, that kind of determination to just get on on the field no matter what. And my heart breaks for Odell Beckham Jr. Because this guy, he opens up the game with a touchdown. And he gets another ridiculously open wide long pass. And it looked like, I was saying like, whoa, Odell Beckham, he looks like the MVP of the Super Bowl so far. And then he, it's a non-contact injury. He's just walking around and then something pops in his, in his, uh, 
at his ankle. I thought it was an ankle injury at first, but apparently it's coming out today that it was an ACL tear. So that that's really unfortunate to hear for Odell Beckham Jr., but he did contribute to this game. He scored the opening touchdown. He will get a ring, and Baker Mayfield looks worse now than he even did before. So I, I thought that this was a pretty decent Super Bowl. It was way better than last year's. I'm, I'm not sure if I'd put it above Kansas City and the 49ers, Super Bowl 54. I'm not sure how, I'm not sure if I would put it above that one, but this was a pretty decent Super Bowl. And hopefully my Eagles will be in the Super Bowl next year. Oh, by the way, so Jason Kelsey, he has confirmed, well, no, eh. Maybe not say confirmed, but there are reports that Jason Kelsey, he will be coming back for another year. There are reports. I stress the reports on that. And that's if that happens, that's really good news because the longer you keep Jason Kelsey, the better. Because that guy is a generational center. He was a six-round pick in 2011, and he's become an absolute legend. So the more, the longer we have him, the better. So peace out, everybody. Go Birds!